Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am Victoria. I'm a mum of two girls and we're a little family of four on the south coast of the UK. And today I have a meals of the week for you. Now, if you have been on my channel for quite a while, you will know I am very honest with my meals of the week. We have a lot of freezer meals. We have a lot of the same thing. Um, but if it gives someone some inspiration for some dinners, then that makes me happy. Um, but if you want to know what we've been eating, then keep watching. So, I was going to make homemade chicken bits with the girls, but the chicken was not defrosted. So we are resorting to the next best thing. Lil's is going to have a chicken burger with some wedges, and they are ready on the tray there. That's my washing up, excuse that. Then tonight, me and Liam are having the honey gammon. And I'm actually going to do it a little bit before I put the honey on for Olivia, because she likes the gammon with some wedges too. And I'll probably do some sweet corn on the side as well. So here is the girls dinner all dished up. This one is Olivia, so I've shredded some of the gammon. She's got some sweet corn and some wedges and some ketchup. Then this one is Lil's. I have done the same with the bread roll as well. Um, I've used two slices of bread and the cup. Some wedges and some sweet corn and a little dollop of ketchup. I have put ketchup in there too for her. So that is what the girls are having for dinner tonight. So I have completely forgot to show you what we are having for dinner today. I am actually doing a blog post on it, so there will be pictures I've been taking. So my mind's probably said I've taken a video. So we're actually having our honey roast gammon. We finally have a new slow cooker um, out of a one broke. So this has been in the slow cooker all day. I'm just about to split it up and put some of this honey on top. And then that'll be going in the oven for 10 minutes when the cheese and potato bakes in. Well, the cheesy mash bake. So I'm just mashing some potato. I have my cheese there. I need to make some breadcrumbs. And I need to add some butter to this as well. But other than that, <coughs> it's all going good. Um, in with the gammon, we did have some onion, salt, pepper and a bouquet garni. They're all in there now because I've just drained everything off to get it all washed before dinner. So here is our dinner all dished up. So we have got the honey glazed gammon with a cheese and potato pie from Harry Bikers and I've got some sweet corn on the side of mine and then this one is Liam's and we have plenty left over for either later or lunch tomorrow but that is our dinner tonight so tonight is rainbows and brownies we have just got home from rainbows so I'm doing well Liam is doing some pasta for Lil's um Olivia I'm going to add some lighter green pesto from Sainsbury's and that is what she's going to have for dinner tonight so here is Olivia's pasta, she's already got it and she's already munching on it. She's just staring at us like we're weird. But um, yeah, she absolutely loves this. It's one of her favourites. Um. <laughs> so as I said in the last clip, it was rainbows and brownies tonight. Lil's is now ho home from brownies. So she has got the same pasta that Olivia had with some of this grated Pilgrim's Choice extra mature cheddar. This was a huge block from Morrison's. It was only a fiver and it's lasted really well. So that is what Lil's is going to have for dinner tonight. So tonight me and Liam are having this pizza dough. This is the Pizza Express pre-rolled pizza dough. We've never had this before so hopefully it is good. I have got some cheddar cheese which is grated. Some grated mozzarella. Some diced chorizo. And some hot pepperoni. Uh, the pepperoni is from Aldi. That's from Sainsbury's. And then I also have the rest of the Sainsbury's pizza topper um, to use for pizza top <laughs> so here is our pizza out the oven um it's got pepperoni and the trizzo on top i've cut it into three equal sizes each for me and liam and that is our dinner tonight homemade pizza so it is friday and i just want to do a simple meal for them tonight so they are having chicken dippers i've got some in both packs which i'm just going to use um, and then I also have some french fries as well. I'm going to serve it with spaghetti and the rest of the cucumber. And that is going to be their nice, simple, easy dinner tonight. So here it is all dished up. This one is Olivia's portion. I'm trying to keep her nuggets a little bit bigger than I normally do. Just so she can actually try and eat them a bit bigger. Then there's cucumber and some chips cut up. And then she has got a dollop of ketchup. Here is Lil. She has got four and a half chicken nuggets with some chips and cucumber. And ketchup, I've put a little bit of salt on her chips, but I haven't on Olivia's. But that is our dinner tonight, and this is the ketchup I used, which is the Tesco one. So, tonight me and Liam are also having a freezer dinner. We have got these gastro hot and spicy chicken chunks. These will be for Liam, 
as I said in my last video, they are very, very warm. Then I have got southern fried chicken chunks for me. I'm also going to have it with this Bisto southern fried gravy. Never tried this, but I haven't got over to B&M to go and get the other one that I like. So I'm going to give that one a go. We are going to have some French fries cooked in oil, which is now in my gorgeous Kilner jar. And I'm going to have some mini battered onion rings as well because I love them. But that is going to be mine and Liam's dinner tonight. And here it is all dished up. So I used two tablespoons, teaspoons of the gravy and made it to sort of the thickness I like. I like it really thick. Here is the um, southern fried chicken, some onion rings for me and the hot and spicy. Southern fried chicken is quite warm from there as well, just to let you know if you wanted to try it. We have a big pile of fries, some ketchup and some salt. But that is mine and Liam's dinner tonight. So tonight I'm just feeding Olivia because Lil's is at a sleepover so she's going to have some turkey unicorns with mash, broccoli and gravy and I'll show you all dished up at the end. So here it is all dished up, it definitely needs to cool down a little bit but she has got broccoli, um, turkey unicorns and potatoes with some gravy on top. So tonight we are having these handmade steak burgers from Morrison's. These are really nice and we get them whenever we can find them. We are having them with these medium cheese baps from Morrison's as well. I'm going to use some spray light, spray light to cook them in. Um, I've got some lightly spiced wedges to go with them. Some coleslaw for me, burger sauce for me and ketchup for Liam. And then we've got these burger slices from Sainsbury's. So that is our dinner tonight. So here it is all dished up. We have got the wedges on the end of the board. Some coleslaw for me. I know I've put it in the middle but it is just for me. Um, I have put some coleslaw on my burger and then I've put one bit of burger cheese and burger sauce. Liam's got two bits of burger cheese and he'll put his ketchup on in a minute. Then I have put some salt on the wedges already and he has ketchup in there for whatever he wants. But that is my and Liam's dinner tonight. So tonight the girls have got this cheese and tomato pizza. It is from Saint, no, from Morrison's. Then they're gonna add some ham. I just got to cut some slices up for them. Then I'm just gonna let them chuck it on the pizza. But that is our dinner tonight. So this is the end result. Lil's helped Olivia ma massively, bless her. Um, Lil's has done an Among Us pizza. So we've got the character here with a little knife and a backpack, and a little mini one here. This is Olivia's half. She won't eat all of that, but. They helped each other, which I think is absolutely lovely, and I hope it's tasty. So here it is straight out of the oven. Here is Olivia's, no, Lil's Among Us character with the dead body. And here is Olivia's side too. Um, but that is what they have for dinner. I'm just going to cut it up in the way they like it. So, excuse the background noise. The girls are eating dinner and the tumble dryer's on. But me and Liam are having lasagna tonight. We have got this British beef statements from Morrison's. Tomato puree, a garlic, we'll use about four cloves of this, five max. White lasagna sauce, mixed herbs, onion salts and onion granules because I've got both in. Black pepper and table salt. Two of passata and some lasagna sheets which I'm just about to soak. But that is our dinner, so obviously that gets put separately. Put this in first, cook this with them. them. Um, put some onion salt and onion granules. Um, in and let that cook a second add this add this and these and then this and then just simmer until it's a good consistency and then make up your lasagna so here is our lasagna all dished up we have got a nice sizable portion each there is just under half left for the girls tomorrow i put cheddar and mozzarella on top hence where it's gone a bit like more brown and then we have got our garlic bread there to enjoy with it but that is our dinner tonight so here is the girls dinner, it is leftover lasagna from last night. As you can tell some of the bottom has like slid out and it's sunk a bit but it will taste good just the same. So I'm going to put that in the oven for them and hopefully they'll enjoy it. So here it is all dished up for the girls. This one is Olivia's, I've just cut hers off a bit. And here is Lil's for her to enjoy and hopefully they do. So tonight we are having this butter basted chicken breast joint from Sainsbury's. We were meant to have this yesterday but I completely forgot to get out of the freezer. I have some homemade stuff in here. It is one slice of bread, breadcrumbs, an egg, some sage, onion, one teaspoon of each roughly, some salt and pepper. Then we have some sliced carrots here, 
some roast potatoes ready to go on it in a minute and then I've also got some Yorkshire puddings in the freezer and I'm going to serve that with Bisto gravy. So here it is all dished up, this one is my one with the chicken, I've got the chicken skin, a Yorkshire pudding, homemade stuffing, roast potatoes and carrots and this one is Liam's, again Yorkshire pudding stuffing, uh, he hasn't got any chicken skin because he doesn't like it and he's got less carrots than me because you know he doesn't eat veg very much and then I'm going to have mine with some mint sauce and we have some Bisto gravy in the front room too but that is our dinner tonight. So tonight the girls are going to have hot dogs, they have also got these little potato stars, Lil's has four of them, Olivia has two, I'm going to serve them with ketchup and hot dog rolls and we're using these Sainsbury's sausages that we get, so these are the Warburton's hot dog rolls, these are always already sliced which is so handy but that is what the girls are going to have and I'll show it all dished up. So here it is all dished up, this one is Olivia's, I've cut hers up in the bun. And here is Lil's, they've both got their ketchup with it too. And I'm going to put some ketchup on the side for both of theirs. Well, I don't know what happened to my voice then, but that is what they've got for dinner. They have had pancakes already. I might do a pancake for Lil's after because Olivia was not fussed. But that is their dinner tonight. So tonight me and Liam are also having hot dogs, but we are having these, um, like... I can't think what type they're called. But, um... Well, yeah, proper hot dog sausages. These are from Wicking Wickinger, um, and you get eight in there. And then we also have the Warburton's rolls that I use for the girls for dinner. So that is our dinner tonight. So here they are all dished up. They're massive compared to the rolls, and we have four left in there because of the size of them. <coughs> um, and then we also have some salad cream. And some ketchup. I'm going to get the other ketchup out as well. We always just have the hot dogs because there's so much in it. I've also put some coleslaw in the bottom of mine as well because I like having my hot dogs like that. But that is our dinner tonight. So that was all of our meals this week. Um, there is a few that we haven't had for a couple of weeks, especially with the gammon. That was quite nice to have on the menu again because we didn't have a slow cooker for a while. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button below. And I shall see you very soon for another video. Bye.